um, Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 through 21 on your bed of life today and I'm going to read the New King James okay the Bible says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come every name that is named hallelujah so allow me to use this for my title the name jesus hallelujah the name jesus so in our theme text christ is seated in the heavenly places above far above every name that is named i like that every name that is named so you go ahead and think of all names that you have on this planet earth and the bible is saying that he's seated above every name the bible tells us in philippians chapter 2 9 and 10 that for god also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name hallelujah that at the name of jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth hallelujah glory to god he's been given a name that is above every name so you can name whatever you want hallelujah and they should bow not shall bow not will bow they should bow now 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 everything that has been named should bow at the name of jesus christ now and the bible says in proverbs 18 10 the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe so are you righteous are you a believer run to the name of jesus that is where God wants us to run to. Before you run to man, before you run to the government or to anyone, run to the name that is above every other name, the name Jesus Christ. So listen, we have a name that is above anything that is named and will ever be named, the name Jesus. Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. That is what I have, the name of Jesus. You have something in you, the name of Jesus. You may not have money now. You may not have the solution now. You may not have uh, a breakthrough now, but there is one thing that you surely have, the name of Jesus Christ. And that's all you need to align you to settle you, to protect you, to watch over you, to provide for you the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, whatever you are going through, listen to me, is just a name that was named by people, but not God. It is important you understand that. For example, before COVID was named, Jesus was already seated above it. Somebody named it, but Jesus was already seated before somebody named it COVID-19. Am I really making sense? Yes, the doctor may give it a name and call it cancer, but you have the name that is above cancer, the name Jesus. They may give it a name and call it AIDS, but you have the name that is above AIDS. You have a name that is above malaria. You have a name that is above, name it, sickness, the name Jesus. Yes, the government may call that crisis that, that, that your nation is going through. They might call it a name, but you have the name that is above it, the name jesus that's my message for us today so friends with the right revelation of the name jesus listen to me nothing you propose to do shall be withheld from you because jesus himself said in john chapter 14 verses 13 and 14 and whatever you ask in my name that i will do that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask anything in my name i will do it if you ask anything in the name that has been highly exalted I'll do it. That's a simple message for us today. So why are you broke? Why are you sick? Why are you anxious? Why are you depressed? Yet you have a name that is above brokenness, that is above sickness, that is above failure, that is above every name that you want to name. You have the name of Jesus Christ and at that name, 
every knee should bow. Sickness bows, cancer bows, poverty bows, anxiety bows, depression bows, name it, all the enemies bow. You have something great in you. The question is, do you have the revelation of the name Jesus? Or are you like the people in the book of Acts who said, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, they did have the revelation of that name. But you have the Spirit of God who is able to reveal the person of the Lord Jesus Christ and his name. And once you have that revelation of the person of Jesus Christ and the power of his name, I can guarantee something that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.